here we go so I've just opened my folder and this is the first stencil that's in there I don't think I've used it so let's use that so Mike Deacon as you probably just saw uh, let's see if we've got a fairly clean spatula to use horrible horrible stuff and see if this is gonna it's like scrambled eggs Let's see if this is gonna do us any good Clean, I'm going to go and clean my stencil now so that doesn't dry in it. Block up holes and we'll wait for that to dry and then we will add some probably a little bit of gesso to soften it and then some colour. in this white ink pad. Oh dear, my neighbour's alarm's going off. Has he actually turned it off this time or is he going to let it go for hours and hours like he usually does? <laughs> no, he's, he's letting it go. Okay, so I'm going to try this white ink with Marta's text and I'm going to try and use the bit that's not been used very often um, so that I don't get any black Now, where's my funnel? Mm. I haven't used it in a while, so it might take a while to get out. So I'll just do this. Grab the book without putting my finger in it. Okay. Put the 
I've done that and then get my heat tool and in the bath. I need to plug this in. Oh, more fingers and thumbs. There we go. Plug that in. Pop the lid on in. Yes, it doesn't dry out. Now I'm going to let that cool down and set and dry because I've tried to do stuff in the past and it uh, kind of lifts up. So I'm going to leave it for a minute. Hopefully the neighbour will come turn that alarm off <laughs> and I'll be back. Okay, so it doesn't seem like he's turning it off anytime soon. So we'll try and ignore it. So for the background... I want purples and pinks and maybe some light blues. Oh, the display is running out of water. Spray the page. Using my Arteza brushes. Purples, purples. Spritz with water, so it moves nicely. More water. for watercolours in the prompts but this is sort of the same thing slightly different but I think this is what Martin used anyway so I'm just kind of going randomly with the colours blending them together Some of that dark colour around the edges just to finish it off. There we go. And I'm gonna leave that to dry. Really? Time to add our focal point and finish the page off. So I've got this sticker. I'm going to add some glue 
because it's out of the antiquarian sticker book and they, they, they do okay but they don't tend to stick brilliantly with the paint and stuff like that. So I'm just going to add a little bit of glue just to give it a bit of help. reason I chose the colour, the pinks and the purples, because the background of the sticker is that kind of colour, so that means that he blends in nicely. Uh, let's get rid of that glue, I need to grab a little bit of matte medium I think. And then I've stamped a sentiment on tissue paper, which I've dried just so that it doesn't smudge when I do this, or when I add the glue, so I've used the heat tool, made sure it's dry, and clean it out. to the back of here because the colour in my background is gouache and it will probably reactivate with the glue and I'm trying to minimise that a little bit. So I'm just going to add the glue to the back of the sentiment. Hmm. I'm going to make it a puppet. I actually think like here would be quite cool. I feel like it's not quite finished somehow, but hmm. what can I add? That is within our limits, so we've got all our five ingredients that I've lost my list. So we've got tissue paper, stencil, stamp, tissue paper, stencil, stamp, sticker. Watercolours. Okay, so... I need more of the stuff, do we think? We need something, don't we? Perhaps, um, just some mark making for the stump.
use the same ink as I use the sentiment which is a dusty concord a little bit, just a little bit. Just to give just a tiny bit more interest to the background, very plain. Today is the 14th of October. And I'm a bit behind putting videos out now. I have videos recorded and I stopped recording this one for a little while because YouTube blocked me from my account for some unknown reason. It kept saying it couldn't verify who I was. I um, <laughs> don't know what that was all about but now I'm finally back in so I can get some more videos out there so I didn't want to keep recording if I couldn't post anymore didn't know what I was going to do whether I was going to start a new channel or what <laughs> but yes we're back up and running now and here we go I uh, just think you don't want to maybe get some blue in there might be fun to try some blue splashes because he's got blue in him <laughs> I think that Prussian blue is the one I'm 
still using watercolors, so I'm still allowed. more fun now isn't it <laughs> so there we go I think we're done now so thank you for watching I hope you've had fun watching that and um, please do try Maremi's or Martin's um, five supply challenge it's it is a challenge to limit yourself to five supplies um, so try and stay creative and keep the interest going so you know I've used the pen pens are allowed <laughs> so thank you again for watching hope you enjoyed and I'll hope to see you again soon